So now that we have an access token, we can actually start making our first API call. And for this, I'm going to choose the add account analytics uh, endpoint. So we can look for it in the API reference, going under add accounts and then get add account analytics. And the example on the right hand side is uh, sums it up pretty nicely. So we need to make a call to this endpoint, HTTP, etc, etc. We need an add account ID. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this uh, URL and copy it over into my insomnia. So as you can see here, I already created a new request and I added my access token as the authorization. Um, so it's a bearer authorization. So it's uh, authorization is the key and then bearer space and then access token as the value. I'm just going to copy the URL over here. So as we can see, we now need an add account ID. So let's try and find one uh, on Pinterest. So in order to do that, what we need to do is open our ad account. So I'm just going to go to uh, ads.pinterest.com. And so what you can see is that we have an ad account here uh, where we spend a bit of money on just promoting some uh, random posts. So we would have something to look at. And we can see already in the URL that we have a advertiser URL. So this is going to be our ad account ID. Just going to copy this and go back to Insomnia. Let's replace that here. And let's also name this ad account analytics. Cool. So let's go back to the API and take a look at uh, how, what, what parameters we need to specify. So we have the ad account ID already as part of the path, right? A path parameter. And then we can see we have the start date, end date, and columns required, granularity, and then there are a bunch of other optional fields like click window days, engagement window days, view window days, and conversion report time. It looks like the default here is time of ad action, uh, but we could use time of conversion as well. This is, for example, what Facebook uses. So very likely I'm going to choose this. So I'm going to choose conversion report time and set this to time of conversion. Great. So we have conversion report time, time of conversion, and then we need to supply all of the other required fields. So granularity, uh, we want this to be broken down by day. You can see we can get data on an hourly level, daily level, weekly or monthly. So what's what columns would we like? Um, maybe we can just take a look at the spend. Uh, so spend in uh, spend in dollars. And that's probably it. Uh, we could get um, some more as well. Maybe we could get the ad account ID or something like that. Um, ad account ID. And then let's take a look. Okay, that's a typo, apologies. So we have granularity day. Uh, we have the time of conversion. Uh, so the report time is time of conversion. We have the spend in dollars and the ad account ID. And now we need to just give it a start date and an end date in uh, this format. So going to copy start date and end date equal to. So let's choose uh, maybe last month. All right, and that should be it. So let's run this and see if it works. Perfect. I'm going to increase the size of this. So what we can see is that for each and every single day, we spend around $5, but apparently not on every single day. So uh, towards the end of the month, so on the 21st, we stopped running ads altogether and only spent $1.25. Let's take another look at what other fields are available. Maybe we can get CTR and CPM in dollar, CPC, all of those ones. CPM in dollar, CTR, and I'm going to add CPC in dollar. 
Okay, so this is actually great uh, when you make a mistake. Uh, just getting back the this reply is, is really good because it means we can kind of take a look at what uh, data is actually uh, available. And it looks like CPC somehow is not available. Uh, we can get micro dollar, um, which is this weird way of some companies, uh, some ad platforms uh, returning data. I'm just going to do that. CPC in micro dollar. So what we can see here is that CPC in micro dollar shows up as 56,179. Um, so in reality, we will need to uh, divide this by 1 million to get the real value. So for example, here we get about 450,000, which in reality means the CPC was 45 cents. So over here, it was something like 5 cents then. All right, great. Um, so this concludes the first part. Um, let's take a look if we can get some more interesting things like uh, get the reporting broken down by day, day and ad. So we can take a look at what ad creative or what pin uh, has actually been driving most of our uh, traffic.